Winners don't lose. Hey guys, welcome back to Never Stop Shooting. My name is Paul and this is Dungeon of the Endless. The premise here is quite simple. I, uh, my ship has been shot down and uh, two random hero survivors are going to be uh, doing like a tower defense thing trying to get to the top floor. You'll notice, you might recognize some of these guys here actually. You've got uh, Dell Bradford, who's actually the engineer from like, uh, from TF2. And Pat Bates, he's the uh, <laughs> he's the flamethrower guy from that, and the uh, the heavy, of course, and Doc as well is there. Uh, but I'm gonna actually take I, I like I like her. She was she was good, and I'm gonna take Buddy here. How do I how do I not take you? How do I remove you? There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna be playing on easy. I've only played about an hour of this game altogether. <laughs> And I've, I don't think I've gotten past, like, three floors on easy mode. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how we do. We shall see, we shall see. Now, one of the big reasons I wanted to play this game is because it would kind of give me a bit of an opportunity to talk here. So I can, I can build stuff in here and all that. But, um, we have got some changes are coming here in our, I did not take the people that I wanted to. Shoot, I took... I took this guy, Duke Nukem type guy, who uh, who I did want to take, but I wanted you to be the chick, fast moving lady. Um, one of the we got some changes coming here to never stop shooting, uh, specifically in that James and I have both, within about a week of each other, uh, taken on new positions in the uh, in the company that we were working in, and uh, it could vary very much changed the dynamic of never stop shooting and what it's going to be what it's going to look like um because if you were paying attention you would have noted that uh james and i we were both working uh working night watch before but now uh i'm working a day shift a regular nine to five this is week on week off before i'm working a regular nine to five uh five day week sort of thing whereas james is still doing a week on week off but he's not night watch anymore he's uh He's working the days just like, uh, j you know, just like a normal person kind of would. So neither of us really have the same sort of uh, time that we used to have. And so you might see shorter episodes. You might see less editing in the episodes. You might see less episodes altogether. We might not be able to put together a, uh, a, a new episode every single day from now on. Um, and that's just, you know, part of the reality of... Uh, of where we're at in our lives, right? Like we can't just do this. Essentially, we uh, we've got to do. We gotta. We gotta be. We gotta be doing other stuff as well. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can move with this too, so that'll work. Um. So yeah, there are some changes coming in that way, and I, and I thought to myself, man, like, what sort of games make for good, like, you know, ten minutes where even if I'm not, even if I'm not talking, it's still engaging, and I realized. The best games for that uh, tend to be horror type games. And so I started looking on my computer for horror games. And I have very few. I've got Amnesia, the not the Dark Descent, uh, a machine for pigs. Oh great, yeah. I have to run the crystal all the way there. I got Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Um, but other than that, like I said when, when I was uh, playing through Amnesia, I'm not a big not a big horror fan myself and so uh you know because of that i just don't have a whole lot of them in my steam library and the ones that i do have I've gotten from humble bundles like for the uh the resident evil humble, humble bundle and so those were like uh four five and six and i checked it out on uh, will it run and none of those games will run even at the minimum level i think four will actually but five and six won't run even at a minimal level um on my computer and so that was just super disappointing for me right because it's like uh, you know that's kind of like the easiest thing to do Th that that would be the way that i would think uh to go with this is going primarily with horror games um and i can't really go with point and click either because those take a lot of time too right uh those games you know uh you know it, it's when I when I edit it like uh, Cube Escape Birthday, it takes a long time for me to uh, 
for me to edit it because like there's just so much there it's like you know an hour i think that one was like a half an hour altogether but it ended up being a 10 minute video because i just i had to edit so much of it out um yeah so i don't have the horror games that i would like to play and the ones that i do have that would play are like uh dead space 2 and at first i was like oh yeah i mean i could play that but i, I really want to ease my way into the horror genre right so i'm not just freaking out constantly right uh, and Dead Space is not a good one to sort of start off on, you know? Uh, simply because Dead Space, if you don't know, the one thing that it is well known for is sort of like the last scene in it where you have to, um, uh, you have to perform eye surgery on yourself while there's a monster trying to uh trying to break through oh shoot get out of there get out of there get out of there buddy no nope, he's gonna die uh while well, there's monsters yeah he's dead already and he's not gonna make it either is he nope so we've already lost great six minutes in uh you have to perform eye surgery on yourself while like a monster is trying to break down the door and like if if, like, you move too much or if you move wrong or whatever, it's like, you know, the drill, like, destroys your brain and stuff like that. It's very gruesome stuff and not really the level of intensity that I really want to start off with. For those of you who haven't seen it, uh, back uh, Halloween, I did a, um, I did an episode doing Amnesia Machine for Pigs and I couldn't even handle that. And that's considered one of the lesser ones for, uh, for the Amnesia games. Um... So yeah, that's kind of just a uh, an update on what's going on there. I would, I would recommend this game to you guys. Like it's a it's a it's a stinking fun game when you know you're able to focus on it and actually do stuff. You can see I made it to level three. Yay! Woo! Maybe that was the highest level hero or something. I don't know. Uh, four attempts on easy mode, no wins. <sighs> so there's a lot of learning left for me to do on this game, but. We're not gonna we're not gonna keep going with that. I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna pop something else in something a little bit a little bit different a little bit genre mixing and maybe that'll be next time you guys will see that maybe that game will have already come out by the time this one comes out. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And until we see you next time, be excellent to one another.